This is the reflector oven. It's made in Sweden by a guy, his name is Svante Freden. You can find it online. Um, the interesting thing is when you get it, everyone has a serial number. This one is 5222. It comes, when you get it, it's flat. As you can see, with these hinges, it accordions open. You put these wires inside here, which it's actually one wire as a loop, and it has a back brace like this to hold it level, and that's key. When you have it in front of the fire, when you actually put it in, these wires need to be level. If it's not, and you put the pan in, the uh, cake batter will flow, okay? Um, the, actually, one thing that's nice about it um, is uh, you can actually, if you're not sure it's entirely level, put it in and watch it carefully for the first few minutes. If it starts to flow, that means you need to readjust. Because this is very flat land here, I can put it down in front. It usually comes with a strap around it. I really advise you put the strap somewhere where you'll find it again. I've heard of people who've lost their straps and you want to be able to tie it up after. So right now it's in there. I'll take the cake, put it inside, right? Position it in front. There we go. One key thing to know that it's cooking well is you put your hand in front and literally if you don't have to pull it back away within five seconds um, if you don't have to do that then it's not hot enough that seems to be the way to know that I mean, you know when you cook in an, uh, an oven usually it's got to be like 350 degrees this fire as you see it right now is starting to get a little cool so I'm gonna pump it up in a minute um, if you cook it too fast you'll end up with a like a you know uncooked center right and you can uh, you know use that test normally with a, a toothpick to make sure the inside is dry and cooked I used I just look around for a tiny little stick I don't bring toothpicks this is a more art than science you know when it's done um, I usually find 25 minutes 30 minutes I can usually get my recipes out my recipes are a little heavier than this one. This uh, reflector oven, you can do any baking in it, right? I've seen people make cinnamon buns uh, using yeast to make the dough rise. Um, I myself have made, uh, I think it's called Riverside Pie, and that's with bacon bits and a whole lot of other uh, interesting ingredients like scrambled eggs made from powdered egg too. Um, any baking thing that you think of doing at at home, you can do in a reflective oven. It's just you don't, if you're doing a long trip, you don't have uh, all the fresh ingredients. One of the great things you can do about this too is uh, bannock. You know, you can add chives and all kinds of things and make different bannocks every night. So if you like to have fresh bread every day, you know, it isn't just a dessert thing. Cornbread's my favorite. Yeah.